What is up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I know it's been a long time again since the last vlog, but we've been super busy here at ACN getting the nursery ready for our opening event on September 1st and 2nd this year. As a matter of fact, we got some guys out front right now who are digging new trenches to put in my water lines for the nursery. So I'll show you that in just a second. This afternoon though, I have to fly out to Australia for the Australian National Exhibition in Melbourne. So I'm really excited about that. Very excited to go down and see all the trees, see all the people, see some old friends, make some new friends, and in general, just have a good time. But before we do that, I wanna take you out front, show you what these guys are doing putting in my water line. Pretty exciting if you're into bonsai. Welcome to beautiful Melbourne. It's actually rainy outside right now, but that's besides the point. We are in Australia. We are here to have a fantastic time at the Australian National Bonsai Exhibition. Now, this has been three years in the making. I came to Australia three years ago, worked with a bunch of clubs all around the country, and then I signed a pact not officially a contract, but I made a deal with the guys here that I wouldn't come back until the national show in 2018. Well, it happens to be 2018 now, and this weekend is the national show. So I'm very excited to be here. It's about five o'clock in the morning right now. I am totally jet lagged at this point, but we're gonna go downstairs and have a good time today. So I think I've got some workshops going on today, and then on Saturday, Sunday, we're gonna be doing some demonstrations. So I'm really excited to see the material. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's head down and check it out. So one of the biggest challenges here in Australia is the limitation of collectible coniferous yamadori in the mountains. They really don't have much of anything. They've got their native flora, which is completely different from what we have in the Northern Hemisphere, and that brings about a whole different set of challenges for the bonsai community here, namely because there's not a lot of information regarding developing those species as bonsai in the global bonsai world. Some of those species are represented in the exhibition here at the Australian National Show, and it's exciting to see just how far along they've been developed with the limited amount of information and just experimentation. And really that's the key, is experimenting with the local flora, taking that forward, developing that, building on that, and really taking the quality of bonsai here in Australia to that next level. So very excited to see that happening in the show here. Now, another challenge that they have in Australia here is the fact that it's very difficult or nearly impossible really to bring in plant material from overseas. That really stems from a past of having brought in a lot of invasive species, not only plants, but also animals including foxes and rabbits, which have devastated huge parts of Australia. So they're quite averse to bringing in outside plant material and other fauna and flora. So it makes it really difficult to actually bring that kind of plant material in, which is why you don't see trees imported from Japan or Europe or anywhere else in the world represented as bonsai here. So that challenge on top of not having coniferous material to collect in the mountains has really made it difficult, I think, for Australia to move forward in the global bonsai world in terms of being recognized as a place of quality but that all changes right here, right now, at the Australian National Show in 2018 because the quality of trees here is world class. I was really surprised it was above and beyond my expectations, which is always an exciting thing. I hope you guys also enjoyed seeing some of the trees represented in the show here, and I think Australia has a great future going forward if they just keep that momentum going, utilizing their native species here, experimenting, building, creating beautiful bonsai.
So today we have a very special side trip planned. We're gonna head out into Melbourne and check out a local bonsai nursery here. It's owned by a fella named Han, who's originally from Vietnam. He's a total character, but he has some fantastic techniques, some really good material. He specializes in black pine. So I'm really excited to take you over there, show you some of his techniques and some of his trees. So let's head over there and take a look. Oh, this one, we play it now, and David, he come to pick it up. <laughs> Everyone come to pick it up, pick it up, you know, no. too strong wind. What do you fertilize with? Uh, too many different ones. Too many different ones? I use for Nutri-Cot, uh, Upmarket, and some I use for, um, on, the, on the summertime, I use for plow feed. Okay. The leave it, uh, leave it fertilized. Okay. And then every two weeks, I have to fertilize in the summertime. Okay. Are you decandling it all in the summer? No, no. no just let no, it grow? just let it grow. Okay. I never did, I never read any candle. Hmm. This thing is a huge. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so this one, very big one. That already big, and this one the already very big one. See something like that? When I cut, when I cut here, cut there, the back, back, the back, 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 anywhere, the more I cut, you see, the back, anytime. I know that was a very short vlog this time around, but I've got to get back to Nashville because this week we're putting in the benches, putting in the fence, spreading the gravel, building up the nursery, and bringing over the plant material. So, very excited to take you guys along for that ride, but we will see you in the next vlog. Take care.